So let's do this together with uh, Excel. So I want you to open either Excel or Google Sheet so that uh, you can uh, do this using Excel. So I'm going to demonstrate how to do this using Excel. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so you should be able to see my screen, right? Good. I can see it. Very good. So I have my uh, Excel right here. So I'm gonna just first enter the data. Uh, so let's do this. The state of nature, high, moderate, and low. Probability and alternatives. Okay, A1, A2, 3, and let's build a small. So I'm just you know entering the data. You you can use the uh, acronym if you want. Enter the data and I can magnify it for you and I will make it look better. And then we need three more and four more. There. State of nature. Merge. probabilities. And then we have alternatives. And I'm gonna enter this data here again, point two, point five, and point three. And payouts are eight eighty thousand and sixty thousand and loss of ten thousand. And similarly, uh, that's sixty thousand forty thousand and 30,000. And then 7,000, 5,000, 70,000, 50,000, and 20,000. Very good. Okay, so I have everything ready now, everything set up. So if you set everything up, now you are able to uh, do this exercise using Excel. Okay, so let's first start with max, 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 C, max. Okay, max, max. Let's start with that. So uh, max max is simply maximum. So I'm going to use the function called the maximum that we have used before. So maximum from 80,000 to negative 10,000. And then you can just copy that down. Then uh, we have 80,000, 60,000 and 70,000. If you want to automate this, you can also use conditional formatting and choose what is the best uh, automatically. But uh, let's not go there at this point. So I'm going to choose here 80,000 is uh, my choice. So if you 
choose this max max method that you are a very optimistic person, uh, then alternative one is your choice. Build a small uh, small facility. What about maximin, right? Maximin, and you are taking a pessimistic view, then instead of max, you want to choose minimum function and do the same thing, right? So minimum 80 to 10,000, which is your bottom line. And you see the minimum is $10,000. Negative $10,000 is your minimum. And then copy the formula uh, to the end of the column. Then you have negative 10,000, 30,000, and 20,000. And the best of them is this. So you choose that. And then we have Laplace method. Laplace is simply uh, the average of this payout. So I'm going to use average function, 80 to negative 10,000. Then I have $43,000 and copy it. Then I have that and I see the 46,000. That's the maximum value. So my choice for from Laplace method is alternative three, build a large facility. And we can also work on expected monetary value, EMV, and EMV equals. Now, um, a manual way of doing this is, um, you know, this times that plus this times that plus 0.3 times negative 10,000, right? This is a, a conventional way of doing things, right? So C3 times C4, D3 times D4, E3 times E4, right? That's how you are going to do that. Um, and, you know, if you just, just copy that down, then it will be not right, right? So uh, what you need to do is you have to fix this, uh, 0.2 as an absolute reference by adding dollar signs in front of C. So fixing the column and uh, fixing the row. So number three has to be fixed. So you add dollar signs in front of that. And then same in the same manner, you want to fix D3 and then E3. And after fixing these references as absolute references, then you copy it down then you have uh, EMV as you calculate it. Another way of doing this is using a function called the sum product, right? Sum product. I'm just you know introducing a new way of doing this. So choose the the values that you are going to apply, and then you are going to do that. So, in other words, you know um, the corresponding cells, uh, you know, multiply themselves and then uh, add them up. That's uh, what it means by some product. And I want to fix the reference for the probability by adding dollar signs there. And so by doing this, if you have a lot of numbers, then you can, um, you know, save many operations, right? So as you can see, we have the same result. Right, so that's a sum product function that you can also use in this case. And you find that uh, the largest value comes from here, EMV. You see that A3, building a large facility, that is the best option in your case. So I'm gonna choose, and then use a different color. Maximum, maximum, Laplace, and EMV value. You found all the values right there. Now, EV WPI. Now, EV WPI. What is EV WPI, right? So, EV WPI, we need to find out. So, EV WPI equals, equals the best value, right, here. If, if you think that the market is going to turn out a high demand, then 80,000 is the, the best value you have. So you're gonna multiply this one by the formula 
or the probability there. So that's the first from high state, high demands. And moderate demand is a $60,000 is the largest payout. So I'm going to choose that times the probability 50% plus. Now, um, when the, the demand is going to be low, then you see alternative two is uh, producing the largest payout. So I'm going to choose that and multiply by the, the probability, right? So C4 times C3 plus D4 times D3 plus E5 times E3. That's going to be your EV WPI. Oops, I didn't, I didn't use parentheses. So 55,000 is your EV WPI. So if you found EV WPI, it's quite easy for you to find um, uh, uh, find EV PI, right? EV PI equals the maximum, maximum. So you can say maximum of, of EMB minus EV WPI, right? So then you have the answer for expected value of perfect information, EV PI, and that answer is negative 10,000. No, it can't be. Oh, what did I do? Oh, yeah, I, so it has to, you have to subtract it from EV PI. Minus. Sorry about that. So ten thousand is going to be uh, EBPI. So again, let me just make it look nicer. So EBPI is EVWPI fifty-five thousand dollars minus max of EMB. And that's what you see here. <laughs>